Okay, so I'm making a video by request. So a few of you asked um, a few questions, and I think it's easier to explain it this way. So the first thing we do is you well you cut off cut up your you know get a uh, character of your choice, and I chose Calvin. Calvin, and I'm gonna measure right. So I'm gonna measure here at the bottom, and I'll call that the length. So line it up properly. And that looks like it's 2.9. So the length of my comic is 2.9, and that's what I'm going to write over here. And then I'm going to measure the height of my comic. And let me move this ruler away, and let me line it up properly. So that's 0. It looks like it's 3.8. Right, so 0. I'm measuring all the way up to here. It looks like 3.8. <clears throat> so I'm going to write 3.8 and then I'm going to do the same thing with the paper I'm going to use and again I'm using a tablet here so obviously uh, it's, this is just for you as an example so depending on the paper you use you're going to have but all in centimeters by the way okay the measurements might be a little bit different so from here to about here, it looks like, oh, so I'm just gonna mark here, that's 10 centimeters, it goes a little bit more. Uh, 10 centimeters, and let me pull the ruler a little bit to the side. 10, 11, 12, 13, 13.7. So the length of the paper I'm going to use is 13.7. 13.7. And then the width. Um, and then the width. I'll go up and down here, so that's line them up properly. Zero up to here is ten centimeters. Let me bring the ruler down, so it's going to be ten. Like, let me just make it as best as I can. Fourteen, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen point six. Right, so it looks like it's fourteen point six. Now that I have both measurements, I'm going to write as a ratio. So the length of the paper, 13.7. The width, the length is, of my comic is 2.9. So I'm going to divide that. So 13.7 divided by 2.9. That's going to give me 4.72. The width here of my of my paper that I'm going to use 14.6 the width of my comic is 3.8 so 14.6 divided by 3.8 it's going to be 3.84 so remember what we when we were doing this in class as an example we said we're going to take the smaller one and this is my smaller one so and when we take the smaller one we're going to round 384 down to the nearest whole number, which in this case is three, and that makes that's the scale I'm going to use. One centimeter on my comic is going to be three centimeters on the paper I'm going to use. Okay, so going back to this, what we need to do now is make some grids here, right? So make a little mark, one centimeter. We're going to make one centimeter squares. And two, and can I make a third one? No, I can't. Up and down, I'm going to do the same thing. All right, so let me start from down. Let's measure properly. So from zero, that's one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters, and I don't, can't make another one. So now I'm going to make some grids. Grids, here we go. So let me take that one first straight as possible, straight as possible, straight as possible, sort of. Now I'm going to make up and down. And up and down. Now, we do this to make it easier when we draw. So I, you can do this if you want. So uh, like remember I said we use Battleship uh, so we can call this A, B, C, D. We can label this one, two, three. So that's, I'll explain that later. So let me 
now drew my draw my uh, my scale on my, my grids on my uh, on the paper that I'm going to use. So I'm going to take this, and we said in my case is one to th uh, three centimeters. So we're going to make three centimeters boxes. So going across. So I'm going to count every three centimeters. So my boxes are going to be three centimeters, three centimeters, three centimeters. Let me move my ruler and three centimeters, right? Then up, up and down is the same thing, right? So make it easier. You, so let me go up and down, so line it up properly. So it's going to be 10, one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeters, one, two, three centimeters, one, two, three centimeters. Let me move the ruler up again. Okay, so line it up, and I'm going to do once, two, and that's as far as I can go. No, I can do another one. No, I, uh, I'm supposed to be doing by three. Sorry, so it's one, two, three centimeters. One, two, and I can't make another one. All right, so now that I have that, I can make my grids on this one. So let me do a cross straight as possible, straight as possible, straight as possible, and obviously I'm having a lot of trouble doing as straight as possible, but you guys can get the idea of what I'm doing. So these are all 3 by 3 squares. Uh -oh. Oh, no. This okay. three by three squares. Hopefully, do a better job than I am. And again, line them up. Uh, and one more. You notice the last part here for me. This one. These, these squares are not three by threes, right? So I'm probably not going to use this. And let me just try to straighten that last one out a little bit better. Nope, no, nope, this one. Okay, okay, it's a little bit better. All right, so now I got it. I got it. I have to draw this over here. So I'm going to need one, two, three. A, a one, two, three. It's a three, a four by three, a three by four, right? Three going this way and four going this way. So I need the same thing. So I can use this one, this one, this one at the bottom and go one, two, three, four up. So in essence, my picture is going to occupy this area. So this outside, uh, what do you call, I'm not going to use and the top I'm not going to use. So this whole area here, and maybe I'll just go like this. This whole area, this whole area here, I'm not going to use. This whole area, I'm not going to use. This whole area I'm not going to use. So my comic is going to fit it in here. Okay. But, and again, if you didn't want to do that, um, and you said, I don't want to, you can definitely use these three. Go one, two, three this way, right? And then go one, two, three, four, and then use. So your comic would go over here. And, yeah, right? Calvin would go over here. And this whole area over here would be empty and that's fine okay um, so now decide how you want to do this okay decide which one you want to pick so I'm going to pick and I'm gonna shade in that I'm not gonna use these boxes okay I'm definitely not using these boxes and my picture is gonna fit inside there now I can label mine and obviously please don't don't do what I just did this is just for you to see and I can label quick just you know here very small that this is a b c d and this is one two three so now <clears throat> let me focus on so if I pick for example if I pick b2 which is this area right here I can sort of sort of draw it right now so Mine's a little bit too small, but I can focus on that. Let me change colors. I can focus on that. You can use a pencil for now. And I can 
there. So that part, and I'm using a tablet, so forgive me. So I just did that part, right? And then over here, A1, which is this one over here, I can focus over here. And sort of, you have a nose, right? And then that's it. So there, you can see that that sort of outlines. And then if I focus on A2, which corresponds to this one, he continues his head with the hat. And there's a little curve in here. And the hat goes a little bit like this. Right? And then A the three A three, we have his hat coming down. Well actually this is not that bad. Um, let me focus on B or B two. B two apparently he has an ear somewhere over here. And it comes like this. Okay, and this will come like that. And obviously when you color this in, okay, so now we have, we have here like a, that, and uh, you can even, oh, let me try, actually try some of this color. So this would be red. Right, this whole thing would be also red. This is his hat. Hey, not bad. And that you need to do his eyes now. He has an eye right somewhere around here. And again, you can erase these grids. Um, Okay, so if you do it lightly with pencil, the, these grids, you can erase it later, and then you'll have only the picture. Um, there's this little hat. Um, and and I, think I, I think you get the idea. Oops, it's a bit black. So here it is that. And if you do it by squares, I don't think you'll have much of an issue. Right, and then, well, here it looks like it goes like this, and then like that. Right, there's his hands. Glove. All right, and if I'm not correct, Forgive me. Okay, but this is his shirt. Just to change colors a little bit. Okay, that's not that bad. And then he has obviously legs somewhere. All right, that's not that bad. I mean, I've definitely done worse. Um, and uh, there's no, there you go. So hopefully that helped. And it only took me 13 minutes. That's not bad. That's it. And then uh, obviously color, you know, uh, color. And again, if you want to remove these grids over here, this line over here, you want to take, oops. Remove one one of them, for example. Can I remove one of them? Okay, go back. So again, you would, I guess, erase these if you want to, which I don't know how to do. So you get my point. So these grids, you can erase them. So you, uh, if you want to, or you can just leave it as it is. Okay, and that's that. Okay.